Hello, this week I reached my 200th subscriber and I wanted to tell everyone thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. When I get your subscriptions, it makes me want to do more videos. Thanks once again. Now let's get going with DDP and Blown Out Stars. Hello, Doug here and today I wanted to talk to you about DDP and Blown Out Stars and when you use it. Uh, when you look at a an image initially a lot of times especially with galaxies you'll get the central core kind of you know blown out and if you could use the stretching on the window you can sometimes control it a little bit but still the the central part of the uh, the galaxy is really blown out so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, use a DDP filter we're going to go here to filter digital development and I will select uh, the low pass uh, filter here and when I select that as you can see it looks like it, it it's brought out the faint details and kind of toned down the, the brighter objects so it gives it uh, uh, a more even feel it doesn't have any one large bright light but one of the problems that happens with the stars is you can see they get like these little uh, halos or holes in the center of them sometimes. And what I'm going to do is show you in Photoshop how you can take care of that. So here's an example of an image that we brought into Photoshop here after it's been DDP'd. And this is the, the luminous layer here. I've already combined the luminous layer with my uh, color image over here and I'm going to kind of run through this to show you how we clean up these stars so they're not don't have those blown out halos in the center so what we'll do is we'll take a, a, a copy of our uh, original image here now we've got a, a, a copy of it what we'll do is we'll apply a Gaussian blur to it so we'll say blur Gaussian blur And what you'll want to do is uh, something around 1.6 or uh, a very small blur on there. What we're doing is just blurring it enough to get that uh, that halo out of the out of the star. You know, we don't want this burned out hole there. So now we've got a little bit of a, a blur on the image, but it's totally taken away that nice detail we had on the galaxies. Uh, uh, dust arms and stuff so you can see there's before and then after the blur but what we'll do with this particular layer is we'll make a, uh, a layer mask so we'll go to layer layer mask hide all okay so now we see those those holes that we want to take care of in there and what we'll do is we'll select the brush tool and what we'll do is we'll poke holes in this black layer with the white brush and when we poke the hole through the brush on the star part where it's kind of messed up there it'll bring that little bit of a blur in there give it a, a, a better better look by the way to make the brush smaller or larger you can use the open or square brackets so I'm just gonna paint that in right there poke a hole through it and now it's uh, looking a little bit more blended it doesn't look like it's uh, uh, blown apart by the DT, DDP stack here. Go over here to a few more of these stars and we'll just clean them up a little bit. But as you can see this is a very simple routine to use to help clean up the stars because if the stars are all blown out and we have those big halos in it. They don't necessarily look the best. So what I would recommend doing is doing what I'm doing right here with the, the layer mask. After you get done finishing your image it will look something more like this. I hope this has uh, helped today and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.